going on? It's Chris once again. Um, this is a follow-up video to my what's in my doc. Uh, this one I'm going to be going into what's in my applications folder. So I went over TweetDeck, Google Chrome. I'm here on KCN Screw. Uh, for those of you that pirate applications, uh, which I don't um, recommend doing, uh, this application gives you serial numbers or patches to um, to a whole list of applications. This was updated November 1st, 2009, not too long ago. Um, and is great, great help. Uh, you don't have to go search for serial numbers. You just click on the application you want, serial number, version, and see here there's no serial number for this. It says see available patches. Click on the patch and then it you just drag and drop into here. Um, so I definitely do not recommend you do this. But um, yeah, I went over Audio Hijack Pro. That's a paid program. Um, Line In is another way to record podcasts through Skype. Uh, that and uh, GarageBand. There's a way of uh, recording your podcast through Skype. Uh, it's a little hard to do, so I will show you guys in a future video. Stay tuned to that one. Audacity is a great program for simple audio editing. If you open it up, um, they taught me how to use this in school. So you know, it's very, very primitive. It's, 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 it's simple. So it's easy to use. Um, that's Audacity. Cam Twist is an application you can use to add different filters to your webcam. Or desktop, you could add scrolling text. You could, um, you know, bubble, bump, bulge, dent. You could add pictures on top of the screen. Um, halo, glow. You know, you could add snowflakes. <laughs> you could do it to your webcam, your desktop, slideshow, movie, flick, anything. It's it's a great, great application. Uh, aim. I use the AIM for uh, game battles because everyone has AIM for some reason. I, I hate AIM. I'd rather use Skype, but no one uses it. So AIM is my game battles contact. If you want to contact me, it's Sandman GB. Um, iTunes, I went over. CPU X um, displays your CPU uh, information. ScreenFlow, I went over. Great program, ScreenFlow. iMovie um, is a simple application to do video editing. If I'm in a rush, and I don't want to um, go in depth. I don't want to lay video on top of video, or if I don't want any extreme uh, transitions, I'll use iMovie. I work 09, basically the equivalent to um, Microsoft Word. You got pages, numbers, keynotes. So that's like Word, uh, Excel, and PowerPoint. I show you is another screen cap application, only it doesn't record. Unlike ScreenFlow, it doesn't record your cam at the same time. So this is just for your desktop. Um, Skype, who doesn't use Skype? Safari, we all know Safari. QuickTime, we all know QuickTime. The great thing about this QuickTime is, um, I forgot what version this is, QuickTime 7.64. Um, you could record movies and also record audio with QuickTime, so definitely big up to QuickTime, they stepped their game up. iPhoto, we all know iPhoto. This is for my printer. Once again, for my printer, I print CD labels. FileMaker Pro, I also went over. Mail, went over. iCalendar, basic. Front row, basic. Automator, spaces. I definitely use spaces to switch between um, desktops. GarageBand, who doesn't use GarageBand? Expose. These are all basic Mac applications. FFmpeg, great application. Um, like I said before, if you want to convert, drag and drop, and it, and it encodes it. Uh, VLC is a great video playing application, I should say. Uh, plays almost any format. Very useful. Adobe Photoshop, we all went over this. Bridge, don't use Bridge. Premiere, I use Premiere a lot. I like Premiere. I almost I, I could say I like Premiere better than uh, Final Cut Pro, just because I'm more familiar with it. It's basically the same thing. Only I like Premiere Pro. I don't know why. iWeb 
simple application to uh, create websites. iDVD, once again, if you have any uh, home videos, you can create a DVD with that. I'll use that. Audium, great application if you want to uh, put multiple instant message clients in one. For example, uh, if you want to use MSN, um, AIM, Jabber, Yahoo, anything, you just put it, open it up with Audium. I haven't opened it up in a while, so this is a very old look. Um, but basically, you could add them all to the same list and use Audium that way. I haven't opened this up in a long time. But that's Audium. Photo Booth, iChat, DVD Player, Dictionary, Chess, come on. Anything new? Vixie. So that's Audium. Uh, Vixie. So if you have a YouTube video and you want it, but you don't care if it's in high def or not, open up Vixie Converter, put in the URL there, select you what you want to convert to, and click Start. LimeWire, who doesn't use who doesn't know about LimeWire? Um, it's great to download single songs. If I were to download multiple songs at once, I'd, or albums, I'd probably torrent it, which I don't recommend you do. But you know, uh, Toast Ten Titanium, um, great for great for posting, uh, creating DVDs. Instead of using iDVD, I would definitely recommend Toast Ten. Handbrake went over. UTorrent went over. Don't use UTorrent. Firefox ZPEG is a, uh, it's like Seven Zip. It's it's a free alternative to unzip files. Adobe Reader free. <sighs> Capture Me is a screen cap application basically go click and it captures it if you want to save it command s if you want to copy it command c simple like that desktop manager is another way of managing your desktops um, let me show you liquid mac which is pretty cool it shows you um, that there is an accelerometer in the macbook pro if i turn the pc that way it goes like that if i turn it the other way But anyway, so that's basically all I have in my applications folder. Just before making this video, I went through and took out all the applications that I do not use because I am using a laptop and I don't have all the space that I want. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments below. Remember, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Before I leave, big shout out to C. Lewis. Over at the DLB Network, he within the hour he has a video coming up on how to um, create simple video intros. So go check that out, um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.